Hello, it's me. Oh, you can't tell. Guys, I'm wearing this turtleneck sweatshirt, but it's cropped. I feel like I've got like major ow, 90s mom vibes going on. Let's just go look at my outfit because I'm really feeling it. We got some mom jeans. We got a cropped turtleneck sweatshirt. I'm trying to make myself feel better by getting dressed today because your girl's sad. All right, let's catch you up because it's been a minute. It's the first week of December. Happy December, everybody. If you haven't seen it, my Christmas decorating video went up last week. You should go take a look because it's stinking cute and my Christmas tree is adorable and my puppy lays underneath it. And how adorable is that? In other news, if you're new here, Alex and I moved to Chicago from Arizona. I lived in Arizona for six years. He'd been there for seven. We both went to school there and stayed afterwards. We own a house in Arizona. We like bought a house thinking we were gonna be there for a long time and then moved. We've had it on Airbnb and like that's been fine, but we've decided just, I've gotten like so busy here. I can't really manage it on Airbnb as well as I was before. And so we are selling the house for sale now, but we still have all of our stuff in it. So we have to move all of our stuff out so that way somebody can buy it and move in. So we have to go to Arizona, which is weird because I like haven't been anywhere in so long. And honestly, like thinking about the plane ride makes me very anxious, but here we are. Going to Arizona, we're going at Christmas time just cause that's when Alex has the most time off of work to be able to help like do all the nonsense. But also my dad and stepmom primarily live in California, but they have a place in Arizona and they've been in Arizona for a while. And we were supposed to see them at Christmas and we were going to like quarantine and get tested and do like the whole nine yards. But I haven't had more than like one dinner with my dad since July of 2019, just because schedules are so busy and then COVID hit and like, I just haven't seen my family in a super long time. Not gonna cry. Long story short, COVID is way too crazy right now. Even with all the precautions we're gonna do, it just doesn't make sense to risk it. And so my parents are gonna drive back to California and be in California for Christmas and I'm not gonna see them. If you keep up with my vlogs, I already didn't get to see my mom for Thanksgiving. Now I don't get to see my dad. I'm on the absolute struggle bus like emotionally today. And I don't wanna do that. I showered and I got dressed in an outfit I really like. And I'm just gonna try and film a day with lots of things and I thought I'd take you along. Nothing turns a day around like a trip to Ikea. Woo -woo. Supposed to go on Sunday with my friend Rachel. By the way, Rachel has a YouTube channel. Her name is Bella Vet, and she talks all about getting into vet school if you're somebody who is looking into vet school and also just like really great videos for pet owners. So check her out. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Ikea on Sunday and she posted that she was had her day off today. And so I was like, I'm not doing anything and I'm sad, so let's go to Ikea. So this will be fun. We love an Ikea shopping trip. Let's see what random things I find. I plan on getting like holiday stuff, but who freaking knows what the mood I'm in. Looking for me telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. But like why? Cause I'm back from Ikea. It's five o'clock and it's pitch black outside. So excuse the lighting, but I wanted to show you what I got really quick because ah, Ikea is just the best. And I got some, well, I, get, I guess everything I've got, I've never had before. That's not true. One item is a repeat buy. I'm rambling. Let's just show you what I got. Number one, the vanilla frozen yogurt is like my treat at the end of making it out. Hey, it now comes in a little cup like this. They don't do it in a cone because of COVID. Would, so it, I, would it be pronounced hey? I said hej. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Hedge. Hedge. But I uh, got myself a frozen yogurt because I deserved it. I've never bought like the food from Ikea to bring home. I've eaten there before and I love Ikea's food, but I wanted to try some of their things at home since I've been cooking so much. So first I got the Swedish pancakes frozen. I've had these at breakfast time and I thought they were delicious. So I'm really excited to try these. I didn't get the lingonberry sauce. I have a bunch of cranberry sauce left. And I felt like that'll be good enough because what else am I gonna use this cranberry sauce for? Next, I got the Swedish meatballs and I'm so excited. We're gonna have these for dinner tonight. They also sell chicken ones, plant-based ones, and vegetable ones, which like, I don't understand the difference, 
but I was gonna get the chicken ones, they didn't have them, so I got the regular original Swedish meatballs, but we're gonna have this for dinner with some mashed potatoes tonight. So excited, delicious. All right, should we just try this now on camera? Yeah, you got like a cracker. Do we have a cracker? This is, I don't know how to say it, so I'm gonna say Calais. I don't know. It's creamed smoked fish roe, which sounds really gross, but I really love fishy things. My friend who I went with, Rachel, said that she tried it and hated it, but she doesn't like really fishy things. However, as she was telling me that, some guy came up and grabbed it out of the case. So I was like, someone likes it. We're gonna try it. This could be super gross. I really- Hold it closer to the camera so they can see it coming out. Mm, looks weird. All right, you ready? So this is fish egg haste. Mm -hmm. Fruit. This cracker has flavoring on it. And now I can't tell what's left. I liked it. I think I like it too. It's got like a fishy aftertaste in like a good way. I'm gonna try it on this cracker. You want some? Mm -hmm. Take two. Fish paste me up. Ching ching. Round two. Yeah, it's good. It's very fishy. It's almost sweet. Oh, there's a little bit of sugar in it. That's why. I do like it. I think it's good. Yeah. I don't think I need a lot of it. I want one more. Now onto the non-food related items, except most of my stuff is like cooking related, but not all of it. First thing I got is I got two more of these mugs. We have these mugs already, but they're my favorite. I don't like using my other mugs that much. I also just don't really like how they look on my open shelving, but I love these clear mugs. Also with our new fancy coffee machine coming, I think they'll look really pretty in here. So these are great. Next, I needed this cord, which was really annoying, but I needed it because on a previous Ikea trip, I had bought this, which is like one of those cordless chargers where I just like place my phone on it and it charges, or I can place my headphones or my Apple watch and they should all charge on here, but it doesn't stink and come with the cord, which I didn't realize. Now I have it, it's not even my favorite thing. Anyways, whatever, I got the cord for it now. It's fine. Also got a meat thermometer. This one I didn't anticipate getting at all, but after I made those Cornish game hens and I had no idea what the insides were like, I think I need a meat thermometer. Oh my God, it doesn't come with the battery. That's so annoying. I wonder if it takes like a normal size battery. I don't know, TBD, we'll figure that out. Next, I got a potato ricer. I'm very excited about this. If you watched my Thanksgiving stream of Cooking with Kai, you'll know I didn't have a potato ricer and it was very hard for me to make mashed potatoes. Now I have one, it's gonna be so easy. This is a stupid big thing for me to own just for mashed potatoes, but we're getting into cooking. So I'm getting myself the items I desire. Everyone has a potato masher. That's just something that's standard in everyone's kitchen. I also got this like travel kit to hold different liquids and whatnot. One of these at like CVS is like $12. This was like $2 or something ridiculous at Ikea. And so I was like, even if I only use a couple of them, this is so much more worth it for me to get than it is for me to go to CVS. And it comes in a little bag and everything with a zipper. It just makes a lot of sense. Next, I got these little Christmas decorations. They're little ornaments, but they're just these little Santa guys. I thought they were so cute and simple, and I love that they look really homemade, so I'm gonna throw these up on our tree. These were a very random buy, but I thought they were super cute. And then I was going to get just like a flat wooden spoon, like one of the flat ones that has the hard edges, that way you can scrape the bottom of pans. But Ikea, love them, came up with this guy. So it's basically a wooden spoon. It definitely has like the inside carved out too but it is flat on the edges and has corners. So this will be great to be able to get in there. I don't know, this is just one of those things. I don't really need my wooden spoon anymore now that I have this, so I might get rid of that, but I definitely wanted the flat bit to be able to scrape. And then the last thing I got, this felt like a big impulse buy, but I'm very happy with it. I got a grill pan because I really love grilling, number one. Number two, it's freezing now and I don't wanna go up to the roof, so now I can just grill anything I want from my apartment, which is great because we have a gas stove. So it really will be like the same as like grilling outside. Very, very happy and excited about this. Why are you making this face? That's so cool. Can oh. you make like breakfast on that? Oh, you can make anything on Could it. Could you make brunch? There would be nothing that this would be required for for bacon. brunch. Yeah, you can make rice bacon on it. Cool. Oh, oh my God, I didn't even show the last thing. Speaking of bacon, I got a splatter screen. I've needed this for so long. My stove is constantly so dirty. But this, if you don't know what a splatter screen is, it's basically just this like really fine mesh. It's like a lid, but it's not a lid because it's not, it like, it's, you, it's not, uh, Air can still go through it. What is that called? It's not solid, I guess. Say I was cooking, this is a bad example because this is square, but if I was cooking like bacon or something, I would just cover it with this and then it makes it so that way the oil doesn't splatter everywhere. I was pan frying some tofu the other day and burned myself really bad and I was like, I need a splatter screen. So Ikea has it 
and I got it. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I didn't know where this was going, but this is where today took me. I'm gonna go make these Swedish meatballs now. If you can't tell already, my mood has turned around drastically from where I was at this morning. Ikea just does that for you. It's a magical, magical place. So I'm gonna go make some Swedish meatballs and heat up some mashed potatoes and gravy to eat with them, and it's gonna be delicious. But if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, go and follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a great time. Follow me over on Instagram. I post a ton more content over there. I definitely want you to follow along. Shoot me a DM. Let's chat. Let's be friends. If you haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button down at the bottom. Your support means so much to me. I love you. I appreciate you. You're the best. I'll see you next time.